Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere! Boost! <laughs> Peekaboo, I see you because I'm, I was gonna say, every woman I'm YouTube famous now! Available in 2021, the album! Dad, AF, <clears throat> rock on! Boost! Go, ow, that hurt. Gold dust woman! Woo! How are you guys doing today? It is currently 11.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday evening. I just got back from dinner. Um, and I thought I'm gonna sit down and film a video because tomorrow I will be busy with my sponsor all day um, I'm very very excited about it. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of inventory and stuff. So I thought I'm going to uh, Pre-film a video for tomorrow and I actually I ask you guys uh, What should I talk about today on Saturday? And I also asked hold on a second. Let me hold on, get into this. I also asked uh, ooh, Where is it at? Uh, okay, James video filmed because I filmed that video earlier today. What are other things you'd like to hear my opinion about? So I thought I would go in here um, and let you guys know some of my thoughts and some of my opinions uh, about I'm like getting caught up and all this. This is why I don't get on the Twitter. Once I get on here, I'm like, oh my God, and this and that and whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, so I thought I would go in here and give you guys some of my opinions about some other things that are going on. Let me get into the first tweet. What should I talk about today? It has 65 responses to it. So you guys, I'm literally just going to go through here and just uh, tell you guys what people asked about and I will give you my responses. Um, I mentioned this yesterday, but Charles said, it's the Pokemon 25th anniversary. So, I mean, there's that. So, uh, Charles, I, I don't know anything about Pokemon. I don't know much about clothes, but my hair looks fierce. Um, okay, let's see what else other people are asking me about. Uh, Katie said, can you read us the Lonely Doll story, uh, story featuring Jeffree Star again? I mean, I could if you really wanted me to. <clears throat> once upon a time, hold on a second, where is she at? Uh, once upon, once there was a little doll, her name was Jeffree Star. Here she is, right here. She's so sweet, isn't she? Uh, she lived in a nice house and had everything she needed except for a brand new wig. Uh, she was very, very lonely, so she called her good Judy here by Jay and she said, please come over and play. I'll pay you lots of money and give you free makeup because I don't have anybody to be my friend anymore. And so Hair by Jay came over because Hair by Jay didn't have any friends either. All right, let's uh, get into the next question. Let's see. Uh, Trisha Paytas calling out James Charles. I talked about that yesterday. Um, let's see what else. Okay. Uh, I don't know who this, how to pronounce this person's name. Keep the same energy. Everyone was on Shane for making horrible, uh, disgusting jokes. Uh, with Jeff, uh, James Charles, there's proof, and two victims may, okay, not to mention it's presently happening. Keep the same energy, babe. Love you, Peter. So I did, I addressed that in my video yesterday. Um, but I will say, even with like the, the Shane situation, um, I almost, I only kind of like reference those topics. And um, if you go back and you watch my videos, I did discuss what was going on, um, but only in kind of reference. So I do feel like I'm keeping the same energy, but thank you for that. Um, okay, let's see. Another name I don't know how to pronounce. This may sound silly, but maybe you can talk about what board games, card games you used to play. Not sure if you still play board or card games with friends and family, but that would be interesting. What was the game that we played last weekend? We played, it's the one where you have like the card and it, well, Cards Against Humanity, we have right over there. Um, but it was the one where you have to sound, it, uh, in, incoherent, that's what we were playing. Um, I used to love Apples to Apples. Um, let's see, what else? I love card games, I grew up playing cards, if you don't know. I mean, this is kind of a sad but a funny story. So I talked about this on my vlog a lot, but my, Grandma, um, actually tonight I was talking to a friend of mine who is a documentarian about the fact that my cousin Caroline and I actually want to do like an investigation on trying to find out more about my grandma. We found out after my mom passed away that my grandma had actually gone to prison twice for embezzlement. Um, and there's all these kind of like family secrets around it and things like that. So I was talking to him about the possibility. He was very intrigued by the story. He was like, oh, this would be really, really interesting. Um, so anyway, when I was growing up, my grandma played cards like nobody's business. 
business. She could deal, she could do tricks, and I and I always thought that my grandma maybe had uh, learned it as being like a dealer in Vegas or something, but no, I think the truth of the nature is she was playing uh, lots of cards up in the pen, is the true story. Okay, uh, let's see uh, what else, hold on a second. <laughs> I still use a, a mouse, and my mouse is not working so great. Okay, hold on a second. I need to replace the battery. Okay. Uh, I already talked about that yesterday. Okay, hold on a second. A lot of these I've already talked about in my video earlier today. David Dobrik is not YouTube's nice guy. I'd really like to know your thoughts on many of his former squad members coming out and discussing the um, allegedly abusive, toxic environment he creates and created. I don't know a lot about the whole David Dobrik situation, honestly. Um, since my watching YouTube over the years, David Dobrik is not anybody that I find interesting whatsoever. Um, he is... Uh, why is Lauren Hill trending? Oh my god, I love Lauren Hill. Why is she trending? Please don't tell me. What's going on? I'm confused. Um, okay, well, Lauren Hill is... Uh, Lauren Hill is trending for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway... Um, do you guys, see, this is why I can't get on the Twitter, because I sit here and I'm like, why is this trending? Why is Disney Plus trending? Why are James Charles and Tati trend, trending? I think we know. I think we know. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, here's the situation with David Dobrik. I have never found David Dobrik to be interesting whatsoever. I don't find his vlogs to be interesting. I don't think that he's funny. Um, I don't think... Uh, there was a period when I was watching J Jason Nash trying to give him the benefit of the doubt when he was dating Trisha that I was kind of like, mm, I guess I can see why people find him humorous or maybe he's kind of funny. But really, overall, I, I just... That whole group to me, it's uh, very much kind of like that... Um, I don't know. It's it, it's that kind of comedy that I don't find any humor in whatsoever. Um, so he's not somebody that I've ever really followed closely. I don't know much about his career. And to be quite frank, um, he is a phenomenon and an anomaly on YouTube that I really do not understand. I, I don't understand why people like David Dobrik. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, I, I, and at the time that Trisha Paytas was dating Jason Nash and all this kind of stuff, I didn't really understand her infatuation with the vlog squad either. Um... So, does it surprise me that this is coming out? No, I mean, I think that, you know, we... And I don't know a lot about it, I will tell you. I did not watch the interviews, the H3H3 interview with, I believe, the, the guy that came out that was part of the vlog squad and talked about the situation um, with David Dobrik. I didn't watch that. And I didn't watch Trisha's entire interview on um, the front of me. He's either talking about that. So, I don't know all the facts. If you guys would like me to go in and watch those things and give my reaction to it... I will, but this would be a really good example of me not talking or addressing a situation because I don't feel like I know enough about it. Like, David Dobrik's not somebody that I know that much about, if that makes sense. Um, I just kind of know what he's famous for a little bit, and didn't he date Liza Koshy? I mean, like, that's about as deep as it goes for me. Um, you know, I think it's interesting when you hear these people in great positions of power, whether it be on YouTube or whether it be on television, like Ellen DeGeneres or other people, you know, like that have these kind of like really horrific, um, I, I don't know, uh, views behind the scenes. It's very interesting to me, you know? Um, so I don't know. Does it go with the territory? Okay, so that's what I feel about the David Dobrik situation. If you guys would like me to do an entire video on him and I, I and link below some things that I need to look at to know that, then I would do that. Um, okay, but I need to know more about it. Let's see. Crystal said, honestly, it doesn't matter. You could talk about... You could talk about, and I would listen, ever since I found your channel suggested to me by the most fabulous B-A-D-A-S-S, -S, Emily Baker. Hey, Emily! I just want you to know that you have helped me through some serious issues, so bring it all. Thank you so much, Crystal. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Let James Charles, James Charles, James Charles, James Charles, James Charles. Um, James Charles. I wanted to give, uh, there was, uh, do, 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 James Charles and Trisha Paytas calling him out. I addressed that in my video yesterday. Um, do, 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 James Charles, James Charles. Um, oh, talking about Lady Gaga's dogs. I did not know this, uh, but someone said, not sure, did they find Lady Gaga's dogs? And Tracy responded and said, yes, they did. Some lady said she had nothing to do with it, returned them. I wonder if she got the half million, but I wouldn't uh, give it. I would want info on the person who shot the guy. I agree, um, but I don't know anything about that. I guess I could look it up in just a second, but okay. Um, 
do, do, do. Uh, Francis said, I know you steer clear of situations like this. I would really like your opinion on the whole thing, though, regarding James Charles. And, and I addressed why I like to steer clear of those situations. I talked about it um, on my video yesterday. And, and really what I'm trying to do with this situation is, in the same way that I talked when the Bye Sisters video came out is the same way that I talked about with the Shane situation and Jeffree Star. And I'm trying to kind of keep it on that same level because, like I said in my video yesterday, I love the quote from The Contender, which is, principles only mean something if you stick by them when they're inconvenient. Um, and I, I'm not going to, uh, you know, just go deep into all of this just because it's what everybody's talking about right now. I have to stick to what I believe is the right thing to do. So yes, I will reference it, um, but not to do like some deep investigation video on it. Um, and, and I also think that more will be revealed as well, like I said yesterday. Um, Tina said, how beautiful tropical island waters are. Oh, I totally agree with you. Okay, uh, Mama T said, me and my cute puppies. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay, um, let's see. Chloe said, seeing him and Tati trending at the same time, again, took us back to an old era. The script writers for the simulation got lazy. That was interesting as well. Because a lot of people are saying, well, was Tati right? Was James Charles right? Was Shane Dawson right? This is what I do hope about the situation. And this is just my two cents about it, okay? Um, is that, you know, James Charles and his situation is um, an isolated incident as Sh Shane Dawson is with his situations that he hasn't addressed. As is Jeffree Star with his situations that he hasn't addressed as is Tati Westbrook with her issues that she has and hasn't addressed, as is everybody with their issues, you know? Just because, like, Jeffree Star might have a really, you know, like, botched, uh, what do you call it, release, doesn't mean that I think that Jacqueline Hill should completely be exonerated from the fact that she came out and said that she was hiring all these labs to test what was wrong with the lipsticks, and yet she never came out and talked about that. They're two completely isolated stories. Um, I'm sure in the public eye, people are gonna compare these stories, but I think that each situation should be handled completely separately. And I do believe that James Charles has come out and said that in the past as well, is that each situation should be handled se separately. Uh, Jen, oh, she posted a picture of my B2 Munch sweatshirt. Oh, I love it. We have the same color and everything. Oh my God. Okay, uh, oh my God, everybody's wanting to know about uh, James Charles, James Charles, James Charles. Uh, Free Britney. I still have not finished that documentary yet, so I need to finish that, and then I will give my full response to that. Um, someone said Eugenia Cooney. Not enough people are talking about her. I don't... They And they said something about her. I didn't know that that had happened. So, um, again, she's not somebody that I follow closely whatsoever. Um, oh, here, somebody said the David situation, and then somebody said, what, what? What's going on? I feel like I feel... Of the, I fell off the face of the earth, and someone said the pranks that they're talking about. Okay. Um, uh, RJ said, could you please say hi to my mom? She has been working nonstop helping deliver COVID vaccines. Just got her cheeky Chinese takeaway, and she was even too tired to eat that. My amazing mom, Becky. Be Becky, thank you so much for your service. I really, really appreciate it, and thank you um, for uh, watching my videos. It means the world to me. And right to the left here, I just, or to the right, I just saw Lady Gaga's dogs have been recovered. Here's what we know so far. So I'll read that in just a second. Um, okay, it goes on and on and on. Oh, wait, somebody said, talk about this ball and track suit. Who is this? Atomic FC. Okay, cute. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go down here. Um, Shelby said the fact that you need some lashes to go with those knife nails, you could create an entire drag persona. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Um, uh, and then a hummingburger said, not James Charles, please. Okay, interesting. Um, here it is. Lady Gaga's dogs have been recovered so far. Here's what we know. Um, hold on, where's the article? Los Angeles Times. Why can't I go into the article? It won't let me go into it. Captain Jonathan Tippett, who leads the Los Angeles Police Department's Robbery Homicide Division, confirmed Friday that Lady Gaga's dogs have been located and are safe. Is that it? What? Is that the only thing that... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Do, do, do. Police on Friday evening recovered two French bulldogs owned by Lady Gaga that were stolen by two men who shot the music superstar's dog walker in the chest Wednesday night, a police official said. Captain Jonathan Tippett, who leads the Los Angeles... Okay. Uh, detectives decided the case, went to the station, and confirmed the dogs were the singer's pets. 
It appeared that the woman who, tis, who Tippett could, would not name was not involved in the robbery or associated with the assailants, although the captain cautioned that the investigation was still underway. I don't want to get into any discussions about her or where the dogs were actually located. We're providing very little information on this because this is an ongoing investigation and because we are also concerned about her safety. The dogs were stolen and break. It's so sad, isn't it? Um, okay, so interesting. Well, at least she got her dogs back. That's that's some, that's some the silver lining on the case, I guess. But man, the dog walker getting shot. How sad is that? Okay, let's go back to. Um, when I asked, let's see, James, okay, James video filmed, what are some other things you'd like to hear my opinion about? Let's go into this and see what people have to say. What are your, okay, Katie said, what are your opinions, what are your opinions on your, what are your onions? What are your opinions on bondage? Well, Katie, since you asked, I say get your freak on, okay? If you're consensual, do, do what makes you happy. Um, and that's what I think about that. I think that if you're looking for uh, uh, some fun things, you go over and look at my code, code Peter, <laughs> at adamandeve.com. Um, okay. San uh, Lolo said Sanders Kennedy's return. Uh, she said, I'm watching the video right now and I just want to give him a hug. What he did wasn't the greatest with the shame videos, but it looks like the internet really came down on him. Looks like he's just trying to get back on doing what makes him happy. I know nothing about that. I didn't know that Sanders Kennedy had made a video and I did not realize he was back. Okay, uh, Jessica said, I would love to hear your opinion on either 90 Day Fiance or Love After Lockup. I don't watch either one of those shows. Uh, <laughs> I know everybody wants me to watch uh, uh, 90 Day Fiance and... Um, to do a review of it. But I mean, I maybe, I guess I need to start watching it. Um, Kayla said, this is such a basic author in my town, but what, if any, is your favorite Nicholas Sparks book? I'm from North Carolina, so I adore all the Carolina romances. I have never read a Nicholas Sparks book. Have I? I feel like I've maybe read one Nicholas Sparks book. I don't know. Uh, Mrs. Morris said, anything besides James? Uh, let's see. Uh, Sarah said, Trader Joe's. I mean, is there drama to do with Trader Joe's? I don't know. Like, is it problematic to even talk about it? That's where, like, I hate to give um, any kind of response to anything, you know, because it's like, you don't know. And it's like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I like Trader Joe's. I think they're cheaper than Whole Foods. You guys right here to the right. Can I just tell you, it says what is happening. And underneath Disney Plus is Gabby Hanna. This is trending in the United States. Creator Gabby Hanna responds to accusations of ableism after replying to a tweet asking how folks feel about tone indicators, clarifying she was telling her fans they don't need to specify I don't know anything about this. They don't need to specify tone to her. Tone indicators are written signifiers particularly helpful to neurodivergent people. Use at the end of statements to help readers understand the tone. What did she say? Here it is. Uh, somebody said... Ooh. Somebody said, how do y'all feel about tone indicators? And she responded and said, I think y'all are doing way too effing much. I think that Gabby Hanna needs to watch, with you, watch using the F word so much. Um... Oh, wait, wait, hey, here it is. For someone with a big platform, spreading this behavior is disgusting. Tone indicators are important for Twitter use. Explanation next. Um, and Gabby said, my tone is y'all doing way too effing much. Ha, 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 ha. Um, and people are not happy. Okay, tone indicators are mainly for people who are neurodivergent, etc. in order for them to better understand how some... This is all from um, somebody on Twitter. Better understand how someone is tweeting using... Uh, SRS, J, gender, etc. can help them know what tone is used and how they should interact. Gabby Hanna called it doing too much, which is unfair. Number two, this isn't Gabby's first time being problematic. A few years ago, she goes, goes on. Number three, Gabby has always been extremely toxic and over the last few years, more and more con content creators have come out and told their stories. Number four, Gabby Hanna has always played the victim online in her, okay, that's a, I guess, a perception, an opinion. Uh, number four, Overall, I'm a person with disabilities, and tone indicators are important for me and every other Twitter user who can't properly understand people's tones over tweets. It doesn't cost anything to be nice. Gabby Hanna, you are a selfish bee. I have to say, I agree with that, um, with about the tone indicators. I didn't realize, and she is, you guys, she is, um, whoo, there's a lot. People are going on here. Since Gabby is trending for being an a-hole about tone indicators, here are some tone indicators. And they go in here and they explain what they are in case you don't know what they are. Um, interesting. And so they're like, um, like backslash, 
uh, IJ is inside joke, backslash M is metaphorically, um, backslash F is fake. So for people that don't know those things, you know, that they feel like they're in the know about it. Just so that Gabby Hanna can't run from being ableist garbage by deleting her tweets. Oh, they go in there and they retweeted her and showed her things. Gabby, she just cannot... I think this is where... Um, you know, it's like the same conversation as James Charles where people are like, this is happening again and again and again. It's like with Gabby Hanna. Is um, Gabby Hanna um, doing this because it's high drama? I don't think in a situation like this is. I think she, this is her just coming out and saying, look at what a rock star I am, okay? This doesn't show what a rock star this is and that you're a B-A-D-A-S-S from the school of Nikita Dragon. What this shows is you're insensitive towards other people, okay? And the problem with that is that it hasn't happened just once with Gabby. It hasn't just happened twice with Gabby. It hasn't happened three times with Gabby. It hasn't happened five times with Gabby. It's happened over and over and over and over again. And so what that tells me as a person that has common sense is that Gabby Hanna is an insensitive person that is highly problematic, okay? Oh, and by the way, Gabby, you still have not decided to come out while you want to come out and tell on everybody else. Gabby wants to tell on everybody and tell what everybody else is doing wrong. But she doesn't want to come out and address the fact that I have brought up many, many times in my videos is that she told me that Jeffree Star still uses the same language that he has been alleged to use per Shane Dawson, who she and Trisha Paytas had some off-camera conversation. I like to hear that conversation on camera, Gabby, and I'd like to address that because I'm not a liar and you told me that. So either you lied and made the whole thing up or Shane Dawson told you that about Jeffree Star and then went into a video and sainted to the man, even gave us a scene where Jeffree Star talked about past racist allegations and you're continuing to allow that to be out there. So... That, to me, is highly problematic. And I think that uh, Gabby Hanna is a really, really highly problem problematic person. Okay. Um, somebody just posted Sanders Kennedy on my, um, his video on my thing. Okay, let's see what other people are wanting to know about. Gabby Hanna can't stay out of trouble. What's your favorite food? Well, tonight I got a grilled cheese with tomato soup, and it was so good, but I also got street corn, and I brought my street corn home and half of my grilled cheese sandwich. Right now, my favorite thing is a wedge salad with no bacon on it. It's like I'm obsessed. Okay, uh, let's see. Issa Toast said, my birthday shout out. Happy birthday, Issa. I feel like I shouted your birthday out a couple days ago, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. I love when people come to me and they say, this has happened to you guys a couple times too. They're like, it really, I, I know you're busy, but it really would have meant a lot to me if you gave me a birthday shout out. And I'm like, I did give you a birthday shout out, which tells me you didn't you watch my video. Because if you had watched my video, okay, because I came prepared. So if you had watched my video, then you would have known that I gave you a birthday shout out. And I usually just message them back and I'm like, I did. And then they like, don't say anything in response. And I'm like, well, sorry, you know. Okay, uh, what are your thoughts about pineapple on pizza? I absolutely love it. It's like my favorite, pineapple and onion. Back in the day, I used to get pineapple and sausage. But now that I'm a vegetarian, I get pineapple and onion. Uh, Lowe said, randomly, I'm reading Mommy Dearest, ever covered a decades-old drama. I would love to. I would love to sit on here and talk about Lana Taylor and, uh, Lana Taylor, that's not her name, Lana Turner and her daughter and that whole true crime situation. I'd love to talk about, you know, Christina Crawford, Mommy Dearest, Joan Crawford's daughter. But who'd watch it? Nobody cares. That's why my favorite book of last year was uh, the, Seven Wife, uh, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Uh, Marie, Marie said, David disgusting Dobrik and what he did to Trisha. They literally have him on tape. Um, like I said, if you want me to look into that more, I will. Sam said, are hot dogs a sandwich? Absolutely never. Hot dogs are in their own world. And Katie said, I think hot dogs are a cross between a sub and a sandwich. <laughs> Katie, I love you, dear, but I think you're delusional. <laughs> okay, I have never in my 48 years ever thought that a hot dog was a sandwich. Did you ever, okay, does, if somebody said to you, hey, you want a sandwich? And you're like, yeah, are you thinking like mayonnaise, mustard, turkey, you know, cheese? Or are you thinking a hot dog? I never thought of that. See, these are the things that get me wild up, riled up. Um, so, so, okay, Sasha said, I would love for you to eventually review Bretman Rock's, uh, Bretman Rock's new MTV show. And Chris said, I really like Brett Man. I, I, I do too, and apparently I always mispronounce his name. Um, hold on a second. He and Manny were going at it today, and it was I was going to talk about this in my video earlier. This was so funny. Um, I like Brett too, and I just, I didn't know that he had an MTV reality show, and I was actually going to um, 
start watching it and I haven't yet because there's so many other things. Okay, so Brett tweeted out earlier today, y'all can uh, call me just Brett for now because I have no man and they put all these crying emojis and Manny responded and said, same, just call me NY because there ain't no man in Manny over here. Manny, first of all, that's dirty. Second of all, Manny, I've been trying to find you a man and you know that. <laughs> you know, Manny, I've been trying to find you a boyfriend forever now. Where are we at on time? Oh my God, this has gone long. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, social media is not a place to meet anyone, especially if you're a well-known YouTuber and your name is James Charles. I agree with that. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. David Dobrik, Jason Nash, and then Chris respond. Okay, that was from Blah, Shanna. And Chris said this, why isn't anybody but H3 talking about this? And uh, Shanna said, I mean, today he, he did just say he doesn't like talking about allegations like that. That's why I don't. But honestly, with that situation, I don't know enough about it, you guys. And I don't feel comfortable getting in a video. I feel like it's negligent to get in a video and start talking about something that I literally have no clue, you guys, about. So I need to go in and do a little bit of my investigations about that. <laughs> Deep investigations of the world. Um, okay, Laura said, different, a real housewives of Salt Lake City fights and whose side you're on. Jen versus everyone. Well, okay. I had kind of lost favor for Jen until I was talking to my good Judy Tanya about it. This whole Gabby Hanna thing over here trending in the United States is just like, I mean, it's crazy to me that James Charles is not trending anymore, but Gabby Hanna is for that. It's like, okay. Um, it, all these YouTubers are just like, can we just go back and reset the clock? Like, I mean, they are all so problematic. Um, okay, I I loved Jen when the whole season started. Then it just seemed like she was fighting everybody. But then I was talking to my friend Tanya about it. And Tanya's like, I really feel sorry for Jen. And then I kind of started feeling sorry for Jen. Um, I really like, like, everybody. There's something about everybody on the show that I like. So let me just say that. Um... And Chris said, I'd be so over this, or uh, all over this. Peter, Peter, please do this. Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is seriously awesome and wowzer for a first season of Girls Brought the Goods. And I agree. They really, really did so well in their first season. And I'm so impressed with it. Um, and the reunion <laughs> did not disappoint. The reunion was fantastic. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you like chocolate milk shaken or stirred? I like to buy it at the gas station so I don't have to, I don't cook. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end it there. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If there are certain videos that you want me to make and you'd like me to go in and do my research on it, please let me know. Um, and I will do that and I will watch the videos and come back and give you my response on that as a drama gossip tea commentary channel. I will tell you what I think about all that, but I wanted to do kind of like a light hearted video over here today. Um, so anyway, um, I love you guys very much. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Sunday is my favorite day of the week. I use it to kind of like renew myself and rejuvenate for the week ahead. And trust me, I'll be doing a lot of that doing inventory today. If you don't know what inventory is, it's, uh, where we evaluate our lives and take a look at what's our part in all of this stuff that's going on so that we can become the best versions of ourselves. And, um, if you have any more interest in it, just Google four step inventory and you can find out more about it. But anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.